Well, good morning, everybody. It's old Barry and DR, and um, I'm not. I'm going to keep this real short here. Uh, if I would have told you, but I've been telling you for almost a decade now, and I hit the year 2020. I said 2020 or 2021. Our mathematics said we'd be seeing things like this. We did not know, though, it'd be triggered by a. Um, false uh, head fake like the coronavirus. I'm really not interested in anybody's opinions either. Uh, this, has well been, this has been well researched by me and what I always use the term my mentors. That's how we knew about it so long ago. We prepared. We actually have been flourishing through it both on a business standard and on a personal basis but I'm not saying that to make anybody jealous or anything like that. It just is what it is. I don't debate with people that offer opinions. I want to talk to you a little bit. I, I made a little deal, as you know. I've stopped writing a long time ago when I left DR Escapes. Uh, please go back to some of those older articles, uh, The Perils of a Three-Legged Stool, or the more recent ones. And I say recent, five years ago, when I, I had, uh, even on the Something Feels Wrong website, I had articles, uh, I remember, uh, uh, a good one is that uh, the universe doesn't care about you, but go back on to page 24 and 25 in the archives around 2015, maybe early 2016, and see. See what old Barry did. See what old Barry said about gold, the U.S. dollar, economy, silver, where we are headed. Now you go back and then you compare that to anybody other than the exceptional elite forecasters uh, like my favorite, Martin Armstrong. And you look at all you idiots running around there right now wondering what the hell's going on. Um, my God, I said to Leanne, I, I honestly, people deserve what they get in this planet. Uh, people running around yelling Republican or Democrat or this is Hillary's fault or this is Trump's fault. If you only knew how ignorant you are, but the problem with being ignorant is it's always been their best weapon. I've said from day one, it's not the military, it's not the bombs, it's not anything other than an ignorant citizenry, which is exactly what you're seeing again. The ignorant citizenry, the ammunition that never runs out of replacement bullets, which is the public, has single-handedly, in under one month, taken a virus, which, quote, is a virus. It was not invented, labbed, or any crap that the fear porn's putting out. And again, I don't want to debate. Look at where you are. Stop it. And use it to launch something that inevitably had to happen. The emperor never had any clothes. The economy is crumpling. It had to, but they will use this as the excuse. Here you all have been led to believe how great your economy is and all your newscasts and all your public medias and whatever crap you want to watch out there. They got you guys chasing your tail where you don't even know where your own ass is, so you're running in circles, all right? And if I'm talking a little bit bluntly, it's because honestly I'm getting to the point where I've terminated a lot of what I thought were friendships only to find out it's just selfish narcissists looking after their own best interests. So I've terminated quite a few. I made a deal with Leanne when this started coming out. <clears throat> I knew it would happen, but I told Leanne if I don't get at least 100 emails from different subscribers, I will continue to push Cabrera, because I believe in Cabrera. It's a great place to live. It's a peaceful place, and it will flourish 25 times better than most places. Now, not a lot of the people that I've relocated here, they're going to fall by the wayside, because they just will not learn. They think if they hire some local and they got an extra few bucks to throw around them, when their crunch really hits the fan, they're going to be there. Good luck to you. If 
you haven't learned the language and you think by relying on one or two people that claim they know everything but they're currently in the same situation as you are, I'd encourage you to open up your other eye and focus a little clearer. Ain't going to happen. I don't want to debate them again. I'm going to repeat that a lot. Make a long story short, I told Leanne, if I get a hundred different subscribers that reach out by phone, email, or text, or any other, I will write a few more posts about what is going on and what this entails and why it's been done. Read it, but it probably won't do any good. If, if people haven't really taking things in their own control and many like I say most who think they're prepared are just glorif glorified unprepared okay they have a couple of ch a couple of pieces of the puzzle but you still can't see the picture there's a lot of holes there anyway uh, I'm not going down that pipe no more y'all y'all doing it on your own and you're all doing a fine <laughs> job and we'll, we'll take it from there but I wrote a, a post on this Something Feels Wrong website, first post in years, uh, pertaining to current events and trends, okay, which is what I'm all about, and that's why we stay ahead of the curve. We're no smarter than anybody else. We're no dumber than anybody else. We're just better informed than most others. Anybody can do what I do including all you radical people that are yelling Democrat or yelling Republic, you fools, they're separate cheeks off the same ass, and it ain't never going to change. And if I offend anybody, then tune out. Deal with it on your own. I have idiots calling me that they're three and four children. I've come back from different parts of the world because of this coronavirus before they locked down the traveling, which is a point you may want to consider. And they think they're safe now because all the children are at home with mommy and daddy. How cute. Well, that's good. But this ain't, this ain't the big one. This is the curtail that starts the big one, which ain't too far off. All because the emperor has no clothes. But understand, if you're in lockdown, what we are now, imagine if that was martial law, not, not lockdown. It would just be another piece of paper that they need to stroke a signature on. And you ain't going nowhere. But yet you think you're well prepared because you have a little place or this or that or you have a little investment. If you can't go nowhere, you deal with what's in the area that you're stuck in. So all you great folks that think, uh, yeah, yeah, my kids are back, everything's fine. You're pretty much, if, if push comes to shove and you think you're prepared but you're not, pretty much all you're going to do is bleed over them, okay? And if I talk directly to you, goddamn bad, I don't care anymore. And... Um, I did get way more than a hundred responses, which I, I, I have to admit was humbling. I didn't think anybody was listening. And uh, after I weeded through the crap and the garbage and the people that I thought were my friends, and I wish them all well, uh, it went back to our tight little group that we had, which only contains a handful of people, but it never varied. So again, I proved it to myself. Uh, if you have an unbreakable bond with a few people, you're going to be okay uh, as long as you have the provisions put in place. So to start things off, I uh, really didn't even want to do this, but Leanne said I really ought to. Uh, I told you it's humbling. I'm speaking my mind. I don't give a damn if I'm hurting anybody's feelings. It's long past that. Because, you know, the simple fact is most of you are writing, your egos are writing checks you can't cash, and that's the bottom line. Anyway, the post is called, uh, Coronavirus Shutters Down the Planet. I want you to read it, and I want you to understand again why a decade plus ago, way back in the DR Escape days, I started to say their most advanced and strongest weapon being used against us is an ignorant citizenry. It always will be and you never run out of ammunition because there's 7.7 .7 billion bullets to replace them with and that's the pretty close to the population. I'd say all but maybe, maybe 2%, 2 percent, two and a half percent if we're lucky. And in that two and a half percent I have to include the one percent of the elite, those son of a bitches, uh, so it's basically one and a half percent of the uh, masses, I guess. 
Anyway, I uh, hope you guys pay attention to it. I'll do a couple more posts, but this will probably be the end of those subjects. I am so overtired of dragging whiny children to a dentist all at the end of it for them to turn around after the cavity was filled and then saying, geez, it wasn't really that bad. I made a whole big stink about it for nothing. Those of you that think you know something, those of you that didn't put three and a half decades plus worth of unbiased research, and I talked about what an unbiased is. So all you political people, all you religious people, understand that's not unbiased, but read the post, you'll understand. You're never going to get a clear answer of where you actually really stand if you're coming from a biased point of view, be it politics or religion. And I don't really care what your belief is, if any of them. So anyway, guys and girls, uh, boys and girls, guys and, and dolls, as the old play said, uh, listen, this is, uh, this is the launch of things. Uh, I know if um, most people shouldn't find it hard to deal with right now. Uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy. That's basically all you're going to do. But that's going to be the same thing. You're going to be all you're going to be allowed to do when they are leading you into the pit. Okay? So, um, be it as it may. Like I say, if I sound a little bit disappointed, part of me is very humbled. Part of me is completely flabbergasted. Uh, I didn't even really want to make this, but by the same token, I do enjoy helping people with an open mind. I, I just, if uh, so many people right now have no clue, not about what's going on, about where they're being herded, okay, like animals, they're being herded in a direction. Uh, perhaps that's why they got the name Sheep, I don't know. But anyway, uh, it's old Barry and DR, and thank you for all the folks that have uh, emailed or texted me over the last while. Uh, we're sorry we had to cancel so many trips because of the uh, the uh, transportation glitch right now. Uh, I do know already within a short while that'll be going back to normality. In the very near future you're going to start seeing who the culprits were who were pushing the false information about this virus and causing it to ex uh, accelerate to a, a pandemonium, a pandemic never was, never will be. Anyway, but truth doesn't matter, right? The perception of truth is what matters. So as long as you can understand that, it's nice to know the truth, but people that are hung up on it, insisting that others try and understand and believe it and all that, that ain't gonna work in humanity. We're not wired that way. Our DNA is not wired that way. I can tell a <clears throat> hundred people, I can tell a hundred people out there that there's five billion stars in the sky, and I don't know how many they are, I'm just using that as a number, so I know somebody's going to comment, there isn't five, anyway, you, there's five billion tar, stars in the sky, and everybody's going to say, sure, okay, that's fine, right, and I can tell you the chair I'm sitting in, the next one to me right now has got wet paint, and everybody's going to do one of these, they have to touch it, it's just the way humanity is. Anyway, guys, Barry and DR, that's about it for now. And stay in the loop because there's a lot of fun up ahead. We'll talk to you soon.